Hello, 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 and today at, with video 25, we will continue with uh, Russia. Uh, and again, this is still Imperial Russia. And also here, I'm lucky to have a lot of these banknotes in pretty good shape, if not uncirculated and close to it. And then we go into revolutionary period and then into the Soviet Union. Um, here, I'm do, I do miss quite a few of them especially the earlier ones, but everything after the 50s, 60s, then I do have, including this big one. This is unfortunately the only one from this series that I have not, it's not uncirculated. Then it, they go into the standard form and quickly into the fall of the Soviet Union with high hyperinflation and the values going higher and higher. This one, I it's... Uh, very fine. I just bought it on circulate, but hasn't arrived yet. Um, and then here we are already into post-Soviet Union, Russia, again with hyperinflation. And here with already the newest series. I do miss some of them, and these are the new banknotes. And then a few three years ago, I had only until here. Then I just bought a few extra ones, as you see here. These are from purchases from the last few years that of course, mostly older stuff. And these are regional. I don't collect them that much. That's why it's, it's here in this in this form. These are old, uh, like regional uh, issues. Yeah, and gold is all the way to here. Then I'll have some graded there to show you. From there, we go into Rwanda. Here again, first series, very hard to find after that. It's hit or miss. This series here, especially the 5000 is expensive and I don't have it. And then it goes into the territory of normal banknotes. There's an, a lot of another one, which I think it's not here that I'll show you later. And then this one is the only one here from Rwanda, Urundi, uh, which existed only for three or four years. From there, we go into a country that I have very little of, uh, so St. Helena. And from then on to uh, Saint Domain Prince, uh, former Portuguese colony. So these are the Portuguese colony ones with overprint. Hard to find these ones. Uh, after that, after independence, is basically, yeah, there's one or two values that are a bit harder to find, but overall, they are mostly yeah not so available in the market in some reasons but not such an expensive banknotes and the last ones are actually quite beautiful the last series from then we go into samoa and here you have a lot of the normal one and the specimens again i don't collect specimens as i said before it's just that in some collections they just it came already with specimens so i just kept them um samoa also the modern part relatively easy to get then a very challenging country i would say especially the earlier editions in good format and good shape um saudi and i do miss quite a few of those the earlier ones i was able to get them at close to fair value so it's you'll see here the newer ones and from then on you go into scotland i'm just saying okay so we're going to Scotland, and Scotland is one of these countries that I was late starting. I didn't consider like the English, or at the beginning I always said I'm going to collect the whole world except British possessions worldwide and stuff. But then I got a collection with a lot of Scottish and Northern Ireland banknotes, and then I started also doing them. And here, it's not a huge collection, it's mostly five stands, maybe 20 and ones. Um, I have a few bigger ones, they're graded, but it's mostly that. They do have some nice ones, especially the older stuff. And from there we go into Serbia. Serbia, beautiful. These ones here, which are also Yugoslavia in some cases. Uh, French looking ones. And uh, yeah, and the newer series this is actually a very nice series i think 
and then we have some other stuff here some older stuff yeah, the 5000 from Serbia I got it in there actually in Serbia and then just another one uh, we'll finalize with some part of Seychelles Seychelles here these ones are of course the most interesting ones uh, pre or pre or during Second World War 1942 this one was already Queen Elizabeth with the first one uh, and then we have the, some of the newest series, but we'll continue. I'll speak a bit, a bit more about Seychelles in the next video. Uh, until then, I'll show you some stuff from the different countries. See on this map here, a big sheet banknote, uh, Russia 136, almost uncirculated, beautiful banknote. Some more Russia, this one, big 131. And this one, the most, or one of the most modern ones, not the, yeah, the latest one, 5,000 rubles. Then also from Russia, what I have at the moment, not yet in the album, is the latest 100, which I was glad to only have bought it late. Because this was at the beginning very expensive, but then it turned out to be just that they didn't come to the market so soon. And then I have this one that I just bought an older banknote, not in the best shape. There, are five rubles. From then, some Rwanda and Urundi, the second banknote that I have from Rwanda and Urundi, number two, PMG 64. And then another one from Rwanda that I haven't put yet. Don't notice this year, it's not correct. It's just that they use these sheets from to store some banknotes. Some further stuff from St. Helena, and I told you that I don't have so much from St. Helena, but I do have another two banknotes. Pick number seven, not beautiful. And pick number eight, again, also not the nicest banknotes. We go then into the remaining that was not there from St. Man Prince, the newest ones, Big 55, Big 64, guy here, picking Kakoa, and the new version of the 5 and the 10 Dobra, not in polymer. They had it in polymer at the beginning, but the climate there in St. Tome, it's not the best. Then uh, Samoa, I also have a few of those here that I haven't put yet. Uh, the latest 100 and 50 here. And yeah, this is the commemorative from, let's just open it. Commemorative banknote from Samoa from the Olympic Games or the Asian Games, I'm not really sure anymore. Yeah, the Pacific Games. Besides that, we'll show you a bit more Scotland. These are normally some older ones that I have graded. Big 200, 20 pounds. You have then a, a beer banknote, big 273, another 20 pounds. Not uncirculated, as you can see, it's extremely fine. Um, then yeah, some more stuff. Saudi, pick 21. Here, nothing really rare about this one. Also, this one, pick 25. 100 reals, a bit more expensive, but also not rare. Uh, the newest, or one of the, not the newest, but close to that, uh, 5 reals. Then some, I think, just, is this one? Yeah, it's just one banknote from Scotland that I haven't put yet. So I have the sheets, I'm ordering them. Some more Scotland, 342. 350, so 100 pounds. Then uh, Serbia, 41. With Tesla. And this one here with 
Svietje, I think that's the name, the 500s. And then last but not the least, some more from Seychelles here, Big 35 and Big 19. These are a bit more on the most ex or expensive side. And the rest that I have also from the Seychelles. That's it for album 25, we'll go next to 26.